Not a bad view, eh? But it can be improved. When this is over, I intend to replace stuffy old St. Paul's with a statue of myself. This is going to be like taking candy from a baby. I can assume from your tone, Cardinal Piccolomini, that you do not support my candidacy. I gave you the job of bringing him in, and he failed me. You know, Harry, I think I'm gonna stick around. I feel like I got a momentum going, you know what I'm saying? Genie. Make me the most powerful man in the world. If enough additional cardinals also accede to a cardinal, then that man will become Pope. Your uncle, Calixtus of blessed memory, chose in a typical display of his wisdom to make you, his nephew, Cardinal Vice-Chancellor of the Roman Catholic Church throughout the world. That makes you the highest ranking Cardinal in this conclave of the Sacred College. And therefore, technically speaking, it is your responsibility to take charge of these proceedings. Go on. I have nothing more to add. The lords of the church gathered here to select God's high priest of the Christian faith await your instruction. Cardinal de Stadville, I request that you, the senior cardinal in terms of years of service, direct the proceedings of this conclave in a manner consistent with its rules and traditions. Here she is, my little Bridget. My uncle Jeffrey. Hmm. Had a drink? No. No? Come on then. Actually, not my uncle. Up. Someone who insists I call him uncle while he gropes my ass and asks me the question dreaded by all singletons. So, how's your love life? Your Eminence, High Inquisitor, what can the law do for you? We heard about your conversation with the Duchess. Seems that you have quite a prolific imagination. The Inquisition has no jurisdiction over this matter. There is no matter other than the amount of time that you spent in the tavern. Not the place for an officer of the law. It doesn't enhance your ability to see things clearly. You should take better care of yourself. Don't know, sir. Let the cardinals of the Sacred College bear witness, as I swear before God, that I will dedicate my life to uniting Western Christianity in a holy crusade to free Constantinople from the Turk. And further, I can tell you that once the city is retaken, the King Charles, I know, will not lay down his sword until Jerusalem is back in Christian hands. What next, Mr. Kenworth? Hmm, let me see. How about making me director of the Royal Mint? Consider it done. A signors, a signora. Attention, if English, you idiot. English, English, English. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast to Lord Duncan Kenworth, the new director of the Royal Mint. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, Prime Minister. The money is safe with me. Jump it. Now, about this sad business. Darling, you're going to run the Royal Mint. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. This will be one of the richest men in England, which is why I'm leaving you. Leaving me? <sighs> this is turning out to be a marvelous evening. Do I have your vote? You have my vote. Thank you. Bonjour. I know you have no love for me. 
and likely never will. But I sincerely do believe that we have a common understanding of how things get done. We will work well together. Right, I'm not a vindictive man, but Barry has taken my wife, so justice must be done. It's a special time of year when those we love are near.